Hey guys, it's going to Tim Ray again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to walk you through my schedule. The reason why I want to do that is because a lot of people in my community ask me, Dilmer, what is your routine? How do you produce so much content? You have two kids, you have a day job, but you still are able to accomplish a lot. And that's what I want to do. I want to walk you through what I do. I'm going to be walking you through hour by hour of what I do every single day. My weekends are a little bit different. I'm going to actually explain how that works as well. So what I'm going to start by doing is walking you through my schedule. So normally I wake up at 3.40 a.m. and that's something that I've been changing. I used to do it at night. I used to work, you know, until 3 a.m. and then 4 a.m. and then go to my day job. And I was really tired. So I tried to change things up a little bit. So some of the things that I do right now is I try to wake up at 3.40. So my schedule goes like this. I wake up at 3.40 a.m. And then when I wake up at 3.40 a.m., that's when I'm basically getting ready to go to the gym. So this is the time that I'm waking up. So the next thing that I do is I, I need to get ready and I'm going to be walking you through every single hour. So about 3, I would say 3.55 a.m. This is when I am ready to go to the gym, so ready for the gym. And I want to walk you through, you know, everything because it's really important that we look at the gaps in between. So I'm going to say ready for the gym. The next thing that I do, so the gym is about 15 minutes from my house, so it's really close. You want to make sure that you're always trying to keep up your time optimized. So Having a gym really close by has really worked for me. So I would say about 4.10, this is when I'm, I'm at the gym. So I am, I'm gonna say that I'm working out. And this could be, you know, you're doing cardio, you're doing weights, in general, just something that you can do to keep you busy and get you really excited about what you have to do in the morning. And that's what happens with me. So I'm gonna say working out. So. I think on average, I try to work out at least 20 to 30 minutes. It depends on the day. Lately, I've been doing 30 minutes. So I'm going to say by 4.40 a.m. This is when I'm done with the gym. So I'm going to say done with the gym. So I get about 30 minutes. So you can kind of see the, the gap in here, which is 30 minutes of workout. I'm also about 15 minutes here on the difference for me to get ready. And I am very particular about the gaps in between because I need to optimize my time. We have families, we have kids. It's really hard if you don't keep, you know, keep track of your time. So the next thing that I'm, you know, that I do, I need to get ready to record YouTube videos. So I try to be ready about, you know, if I, if I can, 520, it's going to be a good number, but I think about 530, that's when I am ready to do recordings. So I'm going to say ready for recordings. I'll just say for YouTube. So that gives me, you know, about 50 minutes to get ready for YouTube videos. Just keep in mind that I'm trying to, you know, before I work on this, and I'm going to show you right below, I try to you know, get ready for the next video. So if I'm, if I'm working on a video today, yesterday I already worked on what I was gonna be, you know, what I was gonna be recording the next day. So around, so I would say about seven, it's my, you know, it's the last, the last minute that I try to, to have that video done. So that means that I recorded the video, that means that I did, you know, source code that I published to GitHub. So about seven, that's, I would say about 7 a.m. that's the last. So I'm going to say about 7 a.m. that's when I'm done with recordings and the video is submitted to YouTube. So I would say done with YouTube. Two video. So that gets me, let's see, about an hour and I, you know, 6.30, 7. So that gets me about an hour and 30 minutes to the recordings. That doesn't seem like a lot, but it's actually a lot because I'm getting ready the previous day. So that gives me about one hour and 30 minutes. So I'll say one hour and 30 minutes to, to work on the videos. So now, you know, you might say, Dilmer, I have a day job and I'm working on, you know, you might work as a developer, you might work as, a, as an analyst and you're trying to work on your projects on the side. And it might be really hard because you have a lot of responsibilities. So, this schedule, I try to keep it up as much as I can, but 
you know, there's time when we are deploying software and I'm a .NET developer during the day. So it can become really complicated. So I'm not saying do this every single day, but I'm saying trying to keep a routine to make sure that you stay consistent. And this is a process that took me about seven years. It didn't happen overnight. So just don't start crazy like this because this is just a lot, a lot of, a lot of dedication and time that you have to put towards it. So let's keep going. So if I'm done about 7 a.m., then I need to get ready for my day job. So I would say about 7. Let's see. So I'm finishing at, at 7 a.m. I think about 8 is when I'm is when I'm done with you know getting ready. So I'm gonna say about 8 a.m. This is when I'm ready to go to the to go to my day job. Ready to go to day job. So my job, it's about 15 minutes from my house and yeah, I am really close to everything and I think that's one of the advantages. But if you're not, you know, if you don't work really close to your house or your studio, it doesn't really matter. I think you just need to adjust some of these numbers. But I think about 8.15, 15 a.m. through, I would say about 8.30, 30 a.m. This is when I'm at my day job. So. Uh, I would say at my day job. So the next thing that I do is at 8.30 a.m. I need to drive to my day job. So it takes me about, you know, 15 minutes to get there, 15 to 30 minutes depending on the commute and depending if I'm gonna get a cup of coffee. So I would say I work from, you know, I go from 8.30 a.m. at my day job to sometimes I work until 6, 5.30. So I'm gonna say on average, I work until 6 p.m. And this is when I'm done. I'm gonna say I'm done with my day job. With day job, I'm just gonna say, you know, this is the same as the previous one. So now you're gonna say, okay, Dilmer, what one more time do you have? You have to wake up at 3.40 a.m. And, and this is when it comes, it becomes really challenging, right? I'm done by 6 p.m. So let's say that I'm in my house by 6.30 or 6.15 p.m. And this is where I am back home. So I'm just gonna say back home. So I am back home at 6.15 p.m. And the next thing that I do, we need to spend some time with our families, with my kids. So I think about 8.15 is when I start looking at what you know content I need to publish for the next day. So I just say content, content review for the next day. So there's really not a lot of time that I have in here between you know the time that I have to that I have to that I'm done with the with the content and also the time that I need to wake up. So I try to average about seven hours of sleep. So you want to make sure that you do that and you keep you know you keep seven hours or you know at the minimum six hours and thirty minutes. I sometimes I sleep for eight hours. Sometimes I sleep for you know seven hours. So. By the time that I that I review the content to the time that I go to bed, so I go to bed around 9 to 9.30. So I'm gonna say from 9 to 9.30, I go to bed. And if you can't really see these really well, let me know and I'm gonna be posting this as, a, as an image. So that's kind of my schedule. And you might ask me, Dilmer, what do you do on the weekends? How are your weekends different to you know what you're doing? with your daily from Monday through Friday. And one of the advantages that I also have is that I, I work every Friday, every other Friday. So there are Fridays where I, I'm really not working at my day job, so I try to spend as much time. So some of my times are gonna differ for, from the days that I'm working, you know, from Monday through Friday. But on the Fridays that I'm, that I'm off, I actually do the same thing. Instead of, you know, instead of going to my day job, which is going to be the gap that I have between, you know, at my day job, which is right here from 8.30 to 6, which is gonna be around this area. So this is gonna be my job. So I don't have to do that as much. So those days are times when I spend a lot of time with my family. I take my kids to the park, we do activities together. So those are the days, you know, every other Friday that I spend doing a lot of that. Also Saturdays and Sundays, you know, those are family times. I. I also wake up super early on Sundays. You might be, you know, you might see me in the gym at 3.40 a.m. and you might think I'm crazy and, and it's 
one of the realities though is that you need to love what you do you need to do you know the only way that you're going to be able to do this you know to go you know hour by hour minute by minute is to you know to love what you do find what you love and then your routine it's going to be building up on that so one of the things that i that i find myself you know doing is i am consistent because i love to create content i love to work on code i love to make you know tutorials for the community and also make games so if you're thinking about studying a routine like this make sure that you also find a niche find your niche first find what you want to do make sure that you're defining your why because that's going to be one of the most important key elements in order for you to become somebody that is always you know keeping a routine that is getting a lot of work done that is pushing a lot of content and it doesn't take just one day it takes a lot of time so make sure that you are doing this on a consistent basis just don't try to do this one day and then, you know, one week and then stop. Make sure that you're starting with, you know, instead of working like I work and then instead of waking up at 3.40 a.m., you might wake up at 5.30 a.m. because you're used to waking up at 8. So try to do a small adjustments. And this is a process of, like I said, this is a seven year process. I've been doing it every single day and I'm reiterating that because it's really important for me to let you know that because if you're gonna start doing this right away, it's not gonna work. You're gonna feel really tired, you, your body's not gonna take it that easy. So make sure that you build you know, your body to be able to you know, sustain a routine like this because I think one of the key and most important aspects of this is make sure that we keep this routine over time and we don't just get burned out. So I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions about my routine, I'm gonna be putting an image of this and also probably a spreadsheet so you guys can see the times in an easy format so thank you very much guys if you guys have any other questions please let me know and make sure that you subscribe to the channel because that really is going to help me in bringing you a lot more content thanks guys